Remember when personal branding was reserved for big time celebrities and entrepreneurs? Well, those days are long gone. Nowadays, anyone can and should build their own personal brand, even those that work for a larger organization. So today I'm outlining 10 tips for you to build your brand when you're working for a large company. Stick around. Hey everyone, it's Leanne, and it wasn't all that long ago that the thought of building an online presence, well, it just really wasn't a thing, especially if we worked for a larger organization. But times have changed and so have sales. And our clients are looking for someone to resonate with alongside a large organization. They buy from people they trust and the people they trust are you. And so now it's time to start building the brand that is called you. Even if you work for a large brand like Marriott or Hilton, it's important that you carry your own brand flag as well. Today I'm sharing 10 different ways that you can build your brand internally at your organization. But if you still need convincing that building a brand alongside your large company brand is an activity that you should do, you should check out this post here. I outline six compelling reasons for you to create a personal brand even when you're working for a large company. Before we dive into these tips, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. I'm creating content around personal branding for the hospitality industry each week, and I don't want you to miss a thing. So you're interested in building a brand at your large organization? Then let's get started. Tip number one, say yes to relevant opportunities. When opportunities arise at work, consider jumping on board and being a part of the project. The skills you learn, the people you meet, and the things that you do you may not have done otherwise. Consider your bandwidth for each of the projects that you take on and see if it'll expose you to the right people and to the right pieces of information. Tip number two, look for an internal mentor. Many entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs find their biggest brand champions in those that have gone before them down the career path. So identify those whose career journeys you admire and see if they're open to a mentoring relationship. Their insights could help connect you to the right people and connect you to rele relevant opportunities as well. There's bonus points in it for you if you can find someone where you can return the favor and impart some wisdom in a certain area of skill set for them. Need some direction on how to find a mentor in our hospitality industry? Check out these tips right here. Tip number three, network internally with other departments. Your organization is a complex map of departments and projects. By learning more about how all of the various departments come together to meet your business objectives, You'll be seen as a valuable connector and a resource among your peers. Tip number four, volunteer on committees and boards. Whether internally or externally from your organization, helping out with committee and board work will expose you to new ideas and a bunch of new business friends. Consider opportunities that'll put you in front of industry thought leaders, as well as positions that interact directly with your ideal client. Tip number five, connect with your marketing department on relevant social media messaging. Align your own brand's messaging with that of your company to compound the impact it has on your target audience. Together, you can find themes within your content and you can help marketing out with what to showcase about your particular department's work. If your company has a LinkedIn page, I created some tips for interacting with that page and you can find those tips right up here. Tip number six, promote your company's new products and services. Be an extension of your marketing team and help push out the messages about your company's new offerings. Find engaging ways to promote your new products while keeping your clients' objectives top of mind. If your promotions get engagement from your community, note those social media analytics and report them back to your organization and to your marketing department. Tip number seven, ask questions and contribute with insightful thoughts in your meetings. Turn those boring weekly meetings into an opportunity to elevate the conversation. Both your supervisor and your colleagues will appreciate the new energy that you bring to the project. 
Tip number eight, network externally with your partner companies. Create better business and better partnerships by connecting regularly with your organization's partners. The collaborative approach will boost business for both your organizations and your role in that will be remembered. Consider ways that you can create valuable content together to help build that trust bridge with your next client or customer. Tip number nine, share your voice with internal influencers and thought leaders. Connect regularly with others who are working to promote their personal brands as well. Share messaging and best practices and help one another grow in their brands in their respective areas. There is great social media power in commenting on others' LinkedIn posts, so consider offering a thoughtful comment on some of your colleagues' posts. And finally, number 10, teach others how to grow their personal brands. Just as you started out once building your personal brand, your colleagues may be interested in starting theirs. Step up and help them get started on their brands with your best practices and maybe even share some of your earlier mistakes. Taking the personal branding journey together can reap many rewards for both of you. And if you're looking for resources to help them get started, send them to my playlist of videos found here. There's a plethora of information on some of the best steps you can take to help get going. If you are building a brand working for a larger organization, let me know in what ways that you are building your brand with your colleagues and supervisors. Drop your ideas here in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And if you wish to learn more about the current state of your personal brand, check out this quick two minute quiz at leannecalderwood.com forward slash quiz. It'll give you some insights into your current personal branding journey and provide you with some resources to help you take the next steps. My friend, building your brand internally at your organization has never been easier. Large corporations see the power in empowering their employees to develop their personal brand. So see if this is the right path for you. Take some time and start your personal branding journey. Keep in touch and let me know how it goes. Best of luck. Bye for now.